Hello! I am so excited for this video. I have seen so many booktubers do tier ranking videos and I was like, you know, it's about time I do it. I've seen people rank classic books, book talk books, romance tropes, Colleen Hoover books, and a ton of other book tier ranking videos. And I thought, what is something I can do that's different? ranking book boyfriends. So I have made a tier ranking chart with five categories that I'm using to judge these potential book boyfriends. Firstly, the best category is love my life. I would marry this individual if they were real, too bad they're not fictional, and that I'm in a relationship because they're perfect. Second is long-term relationship for sure. I don't know if we're endgame, but I love them so much and we would definitely be together for a few years. They're great. Third is we're probably better off as friends. This can kind of mean a few different things, like maybe I like them a lot as a person, but I just don't see the chemistry or maybe they've got a few flaws, but I'd still like to at least remain friends with them. Then next we've got wouldn't make it past the first date. So there's something about them that would definitely get me to go on a first date, but that's it. There's no second date in sight. And then our last category is run in all caps because girl you need to run from this man he's toxic he's not it i'm out of here and i tried to choose popular book talk books so hopefully you will know all or most of these characters but if you don't then hopefully you'll get some good suggestions for your tbr okay first up we've got addicted to you this is 100 the easiest choice i could make the love of my life lauren hale is the book boyfriend in this book and uh, that man has been through it if you haven't read the books in the first book he's an alcoholic but he just cares about lily so much and he really turns around and gets his life together for himself and for Lily and I just think that this man deserves the world I just want to give him a big giant hug and protect him forever because he is the love of my life next up a good girl's guide to murder a good girl's guide to murder is majority a murder mystery but there is a romance subplot between Pip and Ravi and I would say Ravi we're probably better off as friends and this is no hate against Ravi I think the romance is so adorable in the book I don't know I just I don't see Ravi for me it feels weird to talk about these characters like as if I would date them but I think Pip and Ravi are perfect and I want to be their best friend but I don't I don't think I want to date Ravi Next up, Archer's voice. Oh, Archer is the sweetest man. He's another guy who has been through it, kind of like Lauren Hale, and I want to protect this man with my life. I think I would say long-term relationship for sure. I don't know if he's like God to your end game as a book boyfriend, but he is so sweet. He's like the town outcast in the book, and yeah, Archer deserves the world. He is so incredibly sweet. Beach read. Oh, Gus in January. Love them so much. We're gonna put Gus as the love of my life. I love Gus so much because he definitely has like a ton of depth to him, but he's also just like a fun guy. He's a writer, he writes fiction, and he was always taken January on like cute activities. And I don't know, he is just a cool dude in my opinion. I wanna hang out with him and literally marry him. Better than the movies. The book boyfriend in this book is Wes. The characters start out as childhood enemies and then end up lovers. And I love the enemies to lovers trope. They were always like playing pranks on each other and trying to like one up each other and i just feel like if me and wes were together we would just be laughing 24 7 and i love that i'm gonna put him in long-term relationship for sure really quick before we move on to our next book boyfriend i wanted to talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video which is dream dream is a reading app with a huge variety of genres they've got everything from romance to mystery to sci-fi to western fan fiction fantasy and so many more the app has original stories written by very talented writers and also if you're a writer interested in writing stories you can get your stories read by a huge audience of people and i actually wanted to read you guys a little snippet from a book that I have just started reading. The book is called The Alpha's Secret Daughter and it is a fantasy romance about a girl named Luna who is on a journey to find her real father and she has learned that all of the fairy tales she grew up with are true. So she's exploring an entirely new world, finding love, experiencing heartbreak, and going on a quest to find her real father and how she fits into this crazy world. So let me read you guys a snippet from this story. So you also have a mate? I asked shyly. Yeah, it's normal for us to find our mate around our 18th birthday. I found my mate Jackson at my 18th birthday party. He's a pack warrior, he's strong and smart and brave, and he has the most gorgeous blue eyes, she said, staring off into the distance. I could tell how in love she was. Is this how I'm supposed to be? I don't even know him. I only met him for a few minutes, and yet he seemed completely devoted to me. I sat pondering for a moment too long when a soft knock could be heard from the door. Who is it? I stuttered out, even though I knew who it was. I could feel him, smell him, and sense him, even through the door. 
Before he could answer, I ran to the door, throwing it open. Levi. His name left my lips softly and his eyes widened. His whole body shivered. I could see it plain as day. He was in love with me and I was drawn to him. I wanted him. I needed him. I had never needed anyone so much in my life. I backed away slowly, portraying my mind, which was wondering how good his body would feel up against mine. This one is definitely an 18 plus romance. I think it's a little bit spicy, but that is honestly my favorite kind of romances to read. But there is such a huge variety of genres and kinds of authors and kinds of stories, like I mentioned at the beginning. So no matter what you're interested in, you will find something on Dream. And the app is so easy to use. There's a tab for your library where you can save all the books you're interested in. As you can see, I've saved some summer books, some fantasy books, and romances. Then there is the Discover tab where you can see popular stories, stories in certain genres, and a bunch of other categories like new releases. And then there is the Plaza tab where you can actually see what other people are reading, what other people recommend. You can recommend a book, you can ask for a book recommendation. So I love the aspect that not only is there such great books to read on there, but you also get to be part of this wonderful community and interact with other readers and writers on the app. So make sure to use the link in my description to check out Dream and I will have a discount code that will give you free coins so you can unlock books. Okay, let's get back to tier ranking book boyfriends. Book Lovers by Miss Emily Henry. I'm I'm also going to go with long-term relationship for this one. Charlie is a book editor and the fact that he works in the book world and I love books. I feel like we would have so much to talk about. And that man is so loyal to his family, which I really value in a significant other. And he loves New York City, which I would love to live in New York City. And I just in general love living in big cities. So I feel like we have a lot in common. Oh man, next up, Corrupt, which is the first book in the Devil's Night series. This is an interesting one because it is a dark romance. Let's just say emphasis on dark. I'm gonna have to put this in run. That is not a reflection of the how much I liked the book. I really like the book. It is definitely again dark and twisted and like very messed up so if this was like real people I would say this is toxic run away but in the context of the book world it works. Does that make sense? Like do you ever read a book and you're like this would be a huge red flag IRL but like I'm a sucker for it in the fiction world? That is this book. Daisy Jones and the Six. I'm gonna say wouldn't make it past the first date and I'm judging that based on all of the male band members because there's a lot of characters just all of them as a whole if a like rock star asked me on a date, of course I would be intrigued. Of course I would go on the date, but I think I would soon realize a lot of the characters had a lot of issues with drugs, had a lot of issues with just fame, kind of messing up their life, which like I feel for that, but I don't think I could be in their world. Once you reach a certain level of fame, I kind of feel like you have more problems than good. The Deal, Mr. Garrett Graham. Okay, the absolute love of my life, Loki. I can't believe I'm saying this, maybe my favorite book boyfriend. That man, like he plays sports, a college hockey legend. He is so sweet. He has such a great group of friends. And I just think it's like low key my like childhood, like Wattpad dream to fall in love with like the player sports star who actually has like a soft side. Like do these guys exist in real life? I don't know, but I'm a sucker for it in the book world. The Fine Prince, hmm. I felt kind of conflicted about this book. I think I'm gonna say, long-term relationship? I'm tempted to potentially put friends. It's a grumpy sunshine book and Rowan, he's a billionaire. He works in the theme park industry. He's definitely like very jaded from all the problems that come with such excessive wealth and he has a lot of family issues. And Zara, who's the main character in the book, she's just like this ray of sunshine and they just work so perfectly together and she just brings like all the joy and happiness out of him. And I don't know if I'm that giant ray of sunshine that would be perfect for him, but I would definitely enter a relationship with him. I don't know if it would work out in the end though. The Hating Game, ooh. I think I'm also gonna say a long-term relationship for sure. Josh, ugh, love that man. I love the book, I love the movie. The way this guy is like also like grumpy, like brooding in the, in the beginning, but then by the end, you just see like how much he cares for the main character and like how sweet he is. Okay, you know what, honestly, maybe love of my life, like the more I'm talking about him, I think we could get married. Heartbones by Colleen Hoover. I just recently read this book. 100% love of my life. There's so much I wanna say about Samson, but he's a very mysterious guy. Like you don't know much about him and then you find out everything about him at the end and I don't wanna spoil anything. So just take my word for it that this man deserves the world and I just want to hug him forever. Hook, line, and sinker is also gonna have to be the love of my life, Fox. 
was a character that really surprised me. In the beginning, you think he's just like the pretty boy who's also a player, but you come to find out that he has so much depth to his character. He's actually just insecure and thinks that girls only want to hook up with him and a girl could never really love him. And like, ugh, I just want to show that man that he deserves to be loved. The Inheritance Games, I'm gonna say long-term relationship for sure. This book series, I love it so much. 1000% a five-star book series. And there's a love triangle. There's Team Jason and Team Grameson. Grameson, Grayson, James, wait. Team Grayson and Team Jameson. Am I saying that right? After you say a name a bunch, it's like, doesn't even sound like a word anymore. I am Team Jameson and I love him so much, but his family is crazy. I don't know if I could survive a second in the Hawthorne family. They have so many secrets, so many riddles, so much wealth. I don't think I would make it living in that household. So I don't know if we would be endgame. Josh and Hazel's guide to not dating. I'm gonna say wouldn't make it past the first date. I liked the book. It was just honestly okay. Like I felt okay about every aspect of the book and same with the characters, like they're chill, but I didn't really feel super strongly about them. So I think I would go on like one date with Josh and then, you know, there wouldn't really be any chemistry and that'd kind of be it. We'd mutually agree, no second date. Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. Long-term relationship for sure. The main guy in this book, he loves books and I love books, so it'd be perfect. And I also love that it's childhood friends to lovers. I feel like when you grow up together, you just know each other so well that it just gives like soulmate vibes 1000%. However, in this book, there's a reason why the characters end up having a falling out and don't talk for like 10 years. And the reason behind that falling out, I think works in the book, but in real life, I also think I may have stopped talking to the character forever. So if our relationship played out like the book, we may not have ever reconnected. The love hypothesis, I'm gonna say love of my life. This man, Adam Carlson, he is a scientist, AKA a smart dude. He is so sweet. He cares so freaking much for the main character. And he just does all these like tiny nice acts throughout the book that, ugh, love him. One of us is lying. Hmm, also an interesting one. This one is majority a murder mystery, but it does have a romance subplot between Nate and Rowan. And Nate is like the school bad boy. Like he's low key selling drugs. He's got like a rough family life. I think we would be long-term relationship for sure. I feel like we would date in high school and then I think we would just be such different people. I don't know if it would work out in the end. Maybe someday. Okay, this is the only Colin Hoover book that I hate. It's honestly the only book that I've ever read that I passionately hate. Like I almost made like a 20 minute rant video about this book and then I was like, all right, Allie, that's maybe a little much, but I'm gonna say run, run. And I know people love this book, so it might be a controversial opinion. The book is a love triangle and I feel okay about love triangles. I think sometimes they're done really well, like in the inheritance games and other times I think they can get very morally gray because obviously if you are interested in two people and two people are interested in you, you can very easily start hurting people. And I think that can start to make me dislike the main character if I feel like they're kind of playing with people's hearts. And that's how I felt maybe someday, like the characters were very, very morally gray people. Normal People by Sally Rooney. I'm gonna say we're better off as friends. I really liked this book. It honestly feels more of like a coming of age book than a true romance to me. The reason I'm gonna say better off as friends is because I think throughout the book, the main character is like really kind of finding himself. And I think he is just not in a place to be in a relationship at the time of the book. We would have to just be friends because you kind of need to go through more self-discovery before you can really be there for a relationship. November 9th. Okay, this is another book that I feel very mediocre about. Ugh, what do I give this one? I'm gonna say run. I'm gonna say run. Ugh. Is that controversial? I think it's controversial. Basically, there was like two issues that I had with the book. Number one, it has a really cool concept. The characters only see each other one day every single year on November 9th. And I think that is like the coolest idea ever, hypothetically. But in real life, I just feel like you can't really get to know someone from only seeing them one day a year because there's so much you miss. You don't get to know all their friends. You don't get to see what they're like on a bad day. You don't get to see their morning routine. Like you just miss so much of their life. And number two, there was a big reveal about one of the characters at the end of the book. And I think it worked within the context of the book. But if that was revealed to me in real life, I low key might run to be honest. People we meet on vacation. I love this book. I'm gonna say love of my life. 
At this point, it looks like I'm destined for at least eight marriages, but honestly, I'm okay with it because all of these book boyfriends are great. People we meet on vacation, Alex, I feel like he was so sweet. He's like the quieter guy. And there's really few books where the guy is quieter and the girl is like way more outgoing. So I love that dynamic. And I'm also a quieter person. So I feel like we would work well together. And they love taking trips. I love traveling. That's like the most surface level thing I could say that would make us compatible. But yeah, I just think the guy was so sweet and such a cool guy and I'm trying to marry him. Red, white, and royal blue. Oh my gosh, I love this book so much. I'm gonna say we're probably better off as friends because Alex and Henry are just so perfect for each other. I would never, ever even want to envision myself with one of them. Also, Henry is literally gay, so he would not want to date me, but I would absolutely love to be their best friends. The Simple Wild, ooh, I'm gonna say we wouldn't make it past the first date. The main dude in the book, he was a cool guy, super sweet, 100% I would go on a date with him, but he lives in rural Alaska and I don't think I could do it. On date one, we'd talk about our life, I would figure out where he lives and I'd be like, you know, you're cool, but sayonara, I'm a city girl. The Song of Achilles, this is another one I'm gonna put in, we're better off as friends, for the same reasons as Red, White, and Royal Blue. They're just so perfect for each other. I would never even think of myself with them. And it's literally an MM romance, so they don't wanna be with me either. But I literally love them with my whole heart. I would die for these characters. They would be my friend soulmates. The summer I turned pretty, Conrad Fisher is the love of my life. We are getting married, sorry belly. Sorry for your team, Jeremiah. I'm a Conrad girly forever. We cute, this is a book I read not that long ago and it's super adorable. I'm gonna say long-term relationship for sure. Jack is like the class clown. He's so funny, he's so outgoing. I don't know, He is just such a cool guy. I think this would be another relationship where we would have so much fun together, we'd laugh together. Ugly love. Miles, uh, the love of my life, this man, he has been through it. And I just wanna protect him and hold that man with all of my heart. He definitely had his own issues at the beginning of the book and he kind of put Tate through the ringer with his own stuff. So he would definitely need to work on himself first, but I think we could end up being together forever. The Unhoneymooners, uh, such a cute book. I'm gonna say long-term relationship for sure because Ethan is so great. It's enemies to lovers and fake dating, which I love all those tropes. It's just not like a god tier book to me and Ethan as a book boyfriend isn't like a god tier book boyfriend, but I do love that man. And lastly, Verity. I hope you know where I'm gonna put this book. Run. A five star book, but a one star man. Jeremy, he just, he seemed like such a cool guy in the beginning and then just so much happens. I just couldn't do it. That family, there's too much crazy stuff going on. I, I would have to run away. I hope I would run away and would not have stayed in that house. It is such an incredible romance thriller, but that man needs to be alone, I think. And that is all of the books on our list. I hope you had fun to ranking these book boyfriends with me. Let me know your opinion on these book boyfriends or honestly any other book boyfriends. I'm very curious who are the loves of your life and who are the runs? Like let a girl know, you know? Also, let me know if you want me to do any more tea raking videos. This was actually so fun to film. And I feel like I could do so many categories like just book talk books as a whole, maybe like underrated books or like a certain author or a certain genre because I just love watching tea raking videos. They're like so satisfying and interesting to watch. And yeah, with that, I will see you guys next week. Make sure to subscribe and turn on my notifications and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Okay, bye. Bye.